Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Aries, I do want to let you guys know that we're opening calendar for consultations as well as spell work. So if you guys are interested, now is the time to reach out. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and on our TikTok. For those of you guys that do donations through Patreon or Vimo, thank you guys so very much. This is what keeps uh, the channel going. So anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can help our channel continues to keep growing. Let's get into your reading, Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the remaining of the month in regards to love and romance. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what are the messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding their love life and romance. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for them. What is it that they need to know? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the month remaining of October in regards to love and romance. Love and romance, Spirit Guides. What are the messages? What are the messages you have for Aries? So the first card here that popped up was the King of Swords. So you guys are looking at things, analyzing. Um, this is you guys being a little bit more methodical in regards to the movements or in regards to how you deal or communicate with your partner or person of interest. You may be a little bit guarded, Aries. Um, I feel that there's almost like this feeling of having the need to protect your feelings. So you could have dealt with a situation where you felt like your feelings were hurt or like your partner wasn't really uh, acknowledging um, your emotions or the way you were expressing. All right, let's get into it. Now, your next card here is the Seven of Wands. Yeah, definitely extremely guarded Aries. Um, I feel what I'm hearing is they hurt your feelings. So for some of you guys, it could be a feeling of like, being guarded, um, not communicating as much, or pulling your energy back, not really reaching out. And I feel that it has a lot to do with you guys wanting to see that they're willing to put effort or wanting to see that they are going to want to try to meet you halfway uh, by either communicating or by them being the ones to reach out to you. Um, I feel heavily for a lot of you guys, like feelings were hurt. Uh, this could have been some type of miscommunication or misunderstanding. Your next card is the world card. So the world card is an ending cycle. There is an ending cycle in regards to how you've communicated or how you've uh, interacted with your partner in the past. And it's almost like uh, kind of seeing things from a very different perspective or wanting to take a different approach. Your next card here is the Hierophant. Um, and the queen of pentacles so there is definitely someone that you may be dealing with at the present time that it may be you the one that's wanting some type of higher commitment or it could be them uh, that are expecting or wanting uh, something to become more official to become more um, feeling or the the desire of knowing that it's going somewhere um, but again i feel that there's a bit of frustration here now it could be vice versa it is a general reading However, with the High Priest and the Queen of Pentacles, you're dealing with someone that is extremely old-fashioned. This is a person that um, addresses or that looks at relationships in the old-school way. They want to be courted. They want to be given time, effort, energy. They're wanting to know that it's going somewhere. This is not something casual. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're feeling like you're questioning, are you ready for that type of commitment? Are you ready at this point in your life? Like you want to take it to the next level. And this is you questioning all of this. And it could be, again, there is potential for commitment. There is potential for some of you guys even engagement because the world is an ending cycle of what has been. And with the high priest here and the queen of pentacles, this is an elevation of status in regards to a higher type of commitment. So for some of you guys, you're kind of deliberating right now or trying to figure it out. Um, for others of you, it could be your partner, the one that's dealing with this type of energy. However, there is a higher commitment that is unfolding for you guys. There is the meeting of the minds. There is being on the same page, talking about the future, talking about where do we go from here? How do we continue uh, growing this relationship or this connection. For those of you guys that have been casually dating, 
Don't be surprised if the person wants or speaks to you about wanting to make it official. And I see it official in social media. So this is like taking it to the next level. For those of you guys that are in a monogamous relationship, there is commitment that is unfolding and that will be happening from now all the way to November. So for those of you guys that will be getting engaged, congratulations. For those of you guys that are thinking about it, um, you know, ultimately what they're telling you here is if you want and you feel genuinely like this person makes you happy, throw your fears out the window and just go for it. I want to wish you guys all the very best. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subs subscribe to our channel and we will see each other soon. Till then, bye.